And you got to watch out for these women who are like, really want you to get married. They're going to give you bad advice. Now, I don't, I'm not saying don't trust women who are married and who believe in love or whatever their relationship status, that you can't trust women who believe in love. Love's a good thing. Uh, I actually believe in marriage or I wouldn't be married, right? But it's who you marry. And uh, I have made videos about why marriage can be a good thing. You know, I make tons of videos about how marriage can be literally the worst thing that happens to a woman. The worst thing, okay? So we know that marriage in general and relate, not just marriage, because this happens in non-marriages. This happens when you move in with men, okay? So um, in general, we know that if you are a cishet woman who wants to get married, who wants to date men, who wants to have kids with men, you're probably going to get screwed unless... Uh, you really educate yourself on all the red flags. You protect yourself. You do all this stuff. And then there's always a chance you're going to get screwed. So you got to have your backup plan no matter what anyway. But what I want to talk about is the same way that I didn't trust women who really wanted me to be a mother. This thing that I've never wanted. The ones who are like, talk about motherhood as if it's this amazing thing. I'm not saying it's not. But the ones who would not be honest with me about how much they kind of hate their kids a lot of times. Not hate, but you know what I mean. It's hard. And a lot of women would not be honest with me about it. And I knew they were lying. And a lot of them were miserable and trying to convince me to do this miserable thing because, you know, misery loves company, right? And so the women that I trusted the most were the ones who were like, oh yeah. When I was like, I don't really want to have kids. They're like, yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> like, they, and these were actually really awesome people moms but they understood why I wouldn't want this right and they knew me and they knew what was important to me and they knew like what I want to do in my life and how that may not line up with being a mother right so their advice was geared towards me specifically and I really think that uh the reason why I'm talking about this I did a video it was full of comments of all um women who had been pressured into dating douchebags because of other women you know these ones who are like oh come on you to pick it or you know like literally trying to get women to date men because those men needed a woman because that's what this is all about anyway that's why so many relationships women are getting exploited is because the men don't even care about these women they literally just want someone to do all this labor and the women don't realize a lot of times due to lack of education, a lot of times due to their own family systems and what they grew up with and not knowing any different, right? A lot of times by being manipulated and lied to and fooled, there's a lot of reasons why women end up in awful relationships. Doesn't even have to be abusive, right? But just exploit, exploitative or whatever. Just, you know, where they don't benefit, right? Which is very common. And the thing is, is that a lot of, and a lot of women who are in bad marriages, who also don't know any better, or maybe they do know better, but they're just like, whatever, and just try to live in their own delusion about their situation. They'll just be like, come on, yeah, yeah. Like oh, so many women, and this may be your friends, this may be people in your community, wherever that is, this could be church people, this could be, you know, sorority, I'm not, I don't go to church, I'm not in a sorority, I'm not in any of this place, but I know anywhere where there's a community, right? These women may push you to marry the worst dude. Either A, because you just need to get married, right? Because of all that crap, right? Or because they need, misery loves company and all that crap. But a lot of times it's because these women want that man to be married because he needs to get married because he's going to benefit. And you know who does this the worst is women who, um, who know their sons suck. But they know they don't want to be stuck taking care of these dudes. So they're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? So like, oh, she's great. Yeah, right? And they just like fool you into dating their trash son or the sister or the friends. Or there's a couple and maybe her husband's friend is a loser, you know, and she sets you up with him because, you know, like then at least y'all can hang out a lot. Like a lot of women really are not thinking about the impact that these men are going to have on the women that they set them up with live. And they're just like, yeah, like, and they gaslight you and they try to convince you to settle. And it's like, you like them so much, you date them, you marry them. You be stuck in a house next to them and have your finances tied to that person. You be exhausted by that man, right? So I personally 
never trusted anybody who was just like, yay, marriage, or yay, motherhood, like 100%, because those people are not going to be honest with you about the truth, right? They're not looking out for you. They're trying to convince you to join some cult, you know what I mean, or whatever. Or a lot of times, and again, it's not always because of like motives like that. A lot of times it's literally they don't know any different. That is why social media is changing everything because we are seeing instead of just the the narrative being fed to us as normal, we're seeing women talk about like comparing, being like, whoa, oh, uh, you know, my, my husband is actually supposed to change diapers, feed kids, wake them up, put them to bed, bathe them, la, 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 la. He's supposed to eat my, he's supposed to care about me. He's supposed to pour, like a lot of women, we didn't know. We didn't know. And social media is educating all of us on red flags and what it means to be exploited. A lot of us just didn't know. And that's what I love about this. So it is really depressing to watch all this content being like, God, this is awful. But that's the starting point, right? And the more we realize that a lot of people, especially men, you know, they tell us that we're the ones who are just so eager to get married. We are because that's what we've been told. But it's really them. They need marriage. We don't need marriage, right? This is an active choice that we get to do or not do. And we are the prize because we are just inherently going to be adding so much value to this man's life. And as uh, my mutual Cecilia Regina says all the time, uh, men are a net negative or whatever, like out of the gate, unless they are adding so much value into your life through whatever form that is, right? Unless they're adding to your life, making it easier, making you feel better instead of worse all the time, right? Doesn't mean you don't ever have conflict or anything like that, but the, you know what I mean? If they, if you literally are just like glowing up in a relationship in every way possible, that man is adding so much value to life, it is worth it. But a lot of us didn't even know that we're supposed to do that. And that's why like it's, you know, that's why they have the divorce glow up. A lot of women like there's bad health or just can't take care of themselves or just like slowly dying because of the stress of these men. And then maybe they men cheat on or whatever happens, divorce happens. And all of a sudden you're like, dang, like she's just like, whoa, her skin, her hair, the way she dresses. It's this whole shift that happens when you get this dead weight off, right? And yet a lot of women don't want that for you because they're afraid of seeing their own situation. And I understand that. I'm not judging those women. I mean, I know it sounds like I am. Okay, I am judging them, but I have, I have love for them. I, I do, I understand what that's like. You don't know what you don't know. It's hard to look at something that is so painful. And it t- some women will never look at it. And some women may take a while, right? But do not let these women who do not know what you deserve or what they even deserve, do not let them talk you in to the worst, most consequential decision of your life. Financially, m- physically, mentally, emotionally, and literally you could die because of these men. Don't let these women be like, oh, your standards are too high, you know? I also talk about how as somebody who, you know, n- once I'm in a healthy relationship, I have the tendency to sabotage it if I don't keep all of my trauma in check, which is why I have a large support system to help me see, is this real or is this, you know, the past going boo and just blah, like throwing up all over my husband's stuff that has nothing to do with him, which is what happens a lot, which is why I have a lot of help to make sure that I can see the truth, which is again why I say try, date in community. We cannot figure this stuff out on our own, but be very careful who you go to for advice. Don't just go to married women for advice. A lot of women are married to douchebags that hate them. Don't just go to women who, you know, want so bad for you to have somebody. Cause sometimes they're jealous. Sometimes they're jealous that you are just traveling the world or just doing your, thriving in your career. You have all this free time, you have, resources sometimes they're jealous and a lot of a lot of us don't even know our motives are selfish when we give bad advice a lot of times we do you know like be careful who you get counsel from when it comes to dating marriage babies and all these major life decisions that patriarchy has set up to literally screw you and like ruin your life with you pay the price